Yo, yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got that he got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so different, guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. This one is called A3S. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Guys, A3S protocol is the transferable address. It's breaking the restrictions that an address only be used by a single user. If it is to be used securely, it opens up for the possibility for addresses as on-chain infrastructure to be traded, integrated, and combined. To expand just a little bit more about that, guys, I pulled up their Medium page here, and this article was published on June 16th. It's about a six-minute read. The title is Address as a Service, a Wall Breaker for the Current On-Chain Activity Dilemma. The article presents four typical scenarios where users face difficulties when conducting on-chain activities and previews how transferable addresses can act as a service and break the deadlock with their own characteristics. So let's get right to it. It. And the revolution in the following, they describe several typical scenarios. Number one, the value of neglected interaction behavior. The address is the native asset of the blockchain, which records all interactions of users in the blockchain world. Certain special interaction records give the address collection, social, and even economic values. But currently, guys, these values are overlooked because they are difficult to be realized. For instance, nowadays, they still enjoy the story of someone using 10,000 bitcoins to buy a pizza. If addresses were transferable, such historically significant significant addresses would become collectible. The next one here, non-transferable on-chain assets and interests. Today's web 3.0 world is still unfree and full of restrictions. Many on-chain assets and interests are tied up and unable to flow or transfer freely. In 2021, Curve pioneered the VE model in which users lock CRV tokens for a certain length of time to obtain VE CRV and thus to gain voting rights. But VE CRV is not transferable and cannot be traded. A significant portion of the user Users involved in staking are still more concerned with the direct financial benefits and less interested in the governance itself. This leads to a misalignment between participants and governors and limits the use of VECRV. The VECRV model was adopted by numerous protocols ever since, letting the shadow of non-transferable tokens appear frequently. They go on to explain that in addition, there are many NFT benefits that are directly tied to addresses, such as the whitelist eligibility that NFT projects grant to users. Such benefit corresponds to specific addresses and cannot be transferred. Not every user who has been granted whitelist is motivated to complete the minting process while there is another group of users eager to become eligible. The emergence of supply and demand has given rise to some over-the-counter markets that rely on third-party guarantees. Cumbersome and expensive on-chain operations. Users occasionally need a large number of addresses to interact with protocols, for example, to increase the success rate for subscription campaigns. Some of them may interact with many addresses at the same time. Interesting guy. Each transaction on the chain usually requires a payment of gas fee, which means that users need to send small amounts of gas fees to many addresses and pay large amounts of transaction fees at the same time. During the process, the user also needs to securely manage private keys for all addresses. At the end of the interaction, the remaining small assets in these addresses are often made uneconomical to recover due to transaction fees. The next one, insecure asset custody. They can only share the control of traditional addresses by sharing the private key, but cannot achieve the true sense of transferring the regaining of the control. After all guys, they cannot delete one's memories. This makes it impossible to fully reclaim the control over an address if the owner just wants to temporarily delegate address to someone else or to interact on behalf, for example, to play to earn in the game fly, collect DeFi yields at the specific times, etc. Currently, asset custody can only be achieved through complex contracts or relying on decentralized unions. To isolate the risk, users may need to transfer all assets to other addresses before and after the custodianship, leaving all interaction records of the original address behind. In summary, above all, they have presented four scenarios and the dilemma of using addresses in these contexts. The purpose of transferable addresses has made it possible to break the dilemma. 
This architecture, guys, will allow users to tap into the value of on-chain interactions, setting free all frozen assets and interests. It will also simplify and reduce the cost of cumbersome and expensive on-chain operations, allowing asset escrow to be securely implemented on the chain. All of the above is just a partial vision and rehearse of the application scenarios that transferable address may bring about. In these scenarios, guys, the address is more of a basic service like electricity or cloud compounding, solving problems problems that would otherwise be difficult to solve. Of course, they would also see that under this architecture, the user protocol interaction experience, which originally relied on wallets such as MetaMask, will change from simple authorization and confirmation with a few clicks to one that requires customized development for each contract. This will raise the bar for a to address and address to protocol interaction. It is also the problem that they are exploring and continuing to working to solve. As technical solutions continue to improve guys, that there will be scenarios creating and changing user interactions and experience as a result, transferable address as an on-chain infrastructure will be the small Lego blocks that can put together and combine freely with any blockchain protocol. So sliding back over their homepage here, we hit the launch app button. It brings us to this page. You can see we're on the Polygon mainnet. We can create an address. Beware of fake A3S protocol websites only use the official website so what we're going to do is create an address once you're done creating an address you can use it to securely store your various tokens collectibles like nfts and interact with applications on a3s from there guys you can claim owner nft and then you can complete under the my address tab you'll have your address once it's generated the d app is coming soon and the marketplace tab is coming soon as well checking out how they work again generate a new address with no traditional explicit private key separate out the access to the address to an owner nft Control the A3S address to interact with other addresses or contracts, and then guys, transfer the owner NFT to others to achieve address transfer. What happens then? Transferability brings a supply and demand relationship for the addresses and therefore creates a marketplace. Addresses can be traded, priced, co-managed, and integrated, thus creating various usage scenarios. This crypto native infrastructure with huge current reserves are the fundament for the formation of a new marketplace. So we can see the ecosystem here, guys, under supply, where we have whales that flow into their own cell addresses, LPs that flow into choose GPs or trigger the time for trading, Web 3.0 users to interact and participate, address raisers to raise, provide and get profit. And that moves into their addresses with assets and or records into the demand, which is collected by Web 3.0 fans managed by GPs or scientists deposited to smart contracts, sell and rent to investors and scientists and other on-chain customers. The list goes on, guys. I really like how they have a visual representation of their ecosystem here for us, guys. It really provides for a lot of clarity. In conclusion, guys, it's very important to note that A3S protocol is building a next generation address standard that empowers addresses with liquidity. Users can securely transfer stake or integrate addresses with each other, enabling address as a service for the first time. It is very important to also note that I've shown you how to demonstrate the specific use of A3S protocol products. Their chatting of the A3S addresses is useful in those scenarios, such as the whitelist eligibility that NFT projects grant to user addresses, such benefit corresponds to specific addresses and cannot be transferred not every user who has been granted whitelist is motivated to complete the minting process while there is another group of users eager to become eligible users can use a3s to accomplish borrow or sell address it's important to note what else we can do with a3s in the future guys you can continue using your imagination such as connecting with dapps etc and i definitely encourage users to register for the mint as soon as possible the mint is free at this stage guys shout out to all all my students, I love you. Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang. Shout out to the Lambo Gang. Shout out to the Whale Gang. Shout out to the Hotel Gang. Thank you for always your continued support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button for me. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember, guys, we are an impartial channel. So whether your opinion is negative or positive, we'd be more than happy to hear it. That being said, guys, class is now dismissed. We'll see you in our next video. Professor Crypto out.